Welcome to this new video from Clarity Media in which we will explain the rules of Kalkidoku. In Kalkidoku you must place the numbers from 1 to 6 in each row and in each column of the grid. There is no box constraint, that's familiar from Sudoku, but the grid is divided into these regions that we've coloured that each contain a sum in their top left square. These can be addition sums, they can be subtraction sums, they can be multiplication, and they can be division sums. And the numbers that you enter in the squares must obey that sum. So, for instance, to make the 12 here from three squares, it could be 6, 5, and 1, for instance. Now, one very important rule that's different from Killer Sudoku is that a number can repeat within one of these regions as long as it doesn't break the row and column constraint. So if we look at this 36, then we couldn't put 6, 6 because that breaks the column constraint or have 6, 6 in the row. But we could have a 6 here and a 6 here and put 1. That's legal in Kalkidoku because you can repeat a number within a sum region. The other important rule to explain is the way that the subtraction and division sums work. So the addition and multiplication sums are more intuitive because 1 plus 5 plus 6 is the same as 6 plus 5 plus 1 and likewise 6 times 1 is the same as 1 times 6. But clearly when it comes to the division and subtraction sums, 1 minus 6 is different to 6 minus 1, and 1 divided by 6 is different to 6 divided by 1. And so there's a rule that operates with these regions. And that rule is simply that you always subtract the smallest number from the largest number, or the smaller numbers from the larger numbers if it's a sum of more than 2. And likewise with division, you always divide the biggest number by the smaller numbers. So if this was 1 and 6, then you would perform the sum as 6, the biggest number, divided by 1, and never 1 divided by 6. And here if we put 2 and 4, then you would read this as 4 minus 2 equals 2, because 4 is bigger than 2. Okay, those are the rules of Kalkudoku, and in the next video we'll have a go at solving the puzzle.